Most of us eat our food in a matter of minutes, but digesting it can take hours. One of the important functions of our stomach is to store food until it is digested. Food can be stored here for two to six hours. It also kills the microorganisms we consume unconsciously, along with our food, and begins the digestion of the proteins we took in our diet. The stomach secretes gastric juice, hydrochloric acid, water, mucus, pepsin, and renin that continue the process of breaking down the food. Pepsin is secreted as pepsinogen by cells in the gastric glands that are present in the deep folds of the stomach lining. Other cells in the gastric glands produce hydrochloric acid, which has a pH balance between 1 and 3. The low pH helps convert pepsinogen to pepsin and is also the right pH for pepsin's enzymatic action. Hydrochloric acid, or HCl, also helps break the bonds holding the ingested contents together. The breakdown of these food contents exposes more surface area to the action of pepsin and later to the other digestive enzymes in the small intestine. Mucus secreted by the stomach lines the walls of the stomach and protects them from being digested by HCl and pepsin. If this coating is eroded at some place of the stomach, for instance by the attack of bacteria Helicobacter pylori, it can cause an ulcer. It was previously thought that ulcers were caused by over-secretion of digestive juices, stress, and eating spicy food. This is because stomach ulcers were pretty common in Asians, who are famous for eating food rich in spices. However, it turns out that the basis for most ulcers is none of the above. Damage to the stomach lining initiated by the bacterial infection is made worse by hydrochloric acid and pepsin. H. pylori is still a widely researched topic as it is believed that acid reflux and ulcers both are caused by this bacteria and both can be treated by taking an antibiotic. Excessive or prolonged intake of antibiotics, especially broad spectrum antibiotics, can lead to vitamin deficiency. This is because, in addition to killing disease-causing organisms that they are intended for, they also kill the normal microflora bacteria which produce vitamins for us. A huge amount of populations of bacteria live within the human colon. One of the resident species is none other than the bacteria celebrity, as it always remains in the public eye, the Escherichia coli. A bacterium popular among not only researchers in biochemistry, genetics, and molecular biology, but also laymen as some of the most common disease outbreaks is caused by it. Did you know that E. coli lives on matters that are indigestible to humans? And did you know that the bacteria produce some beneficial products, such as vitamin K, and biotin, which we humans cannot otherwise synthesize. Contractions of the smooth muscles in the walls of the stomach roll around its contents, mixing partly digested food with enzymes and acids. This acidic, fluid mixture of gastric juice is called chyme. Peristaltic movements of the stomach walls push chyme towards the end of the stomach. These waves of peristalsis cause the pyloric sphincter to relax briefly so that very little amounts of chyme can enter the small intestine. In this way, our stomach empties itself gradually over a period of almost four hours. Thank you for your continuous support, especially our valued patrons and members who have been encouraging us to keep producing more quality content.